This one's a pretty low winner rate and has an interesting theme to it. Two towers but three tracks on Dark Dungeons. 6% winner rate, uh, around 72 with max room HP and max rigor rate. Lovely. Uh, right now I can already see the trick. You leak a red balloon for a bomb blitz to work, right? First off, let me just see what happens. Ah, okay. So you don't want to pop... Wait, what's the... How do you do this then if you don't want to pop the... Uh, ceramics? I guess you have to BMA it. Yeah, you BMA it turn into a red balloon. That's not regrow. So that helps a little bit. Okay, I I, I, I can connect, the, connect dots here. For sure, for sure. First off, I would need to... Stun the Cerams. But this is the problem. The Reds are simply... Too slow. Yeah, so that has to leak before the Ceram, which means, uh, here is the catch. Actually, let me actually put the bomb in a spot where it won't attack. Or at least won't attack for as late as possible, like here. And here's the catch. Don't buy BMA until it's close to exiting. Tell me why this doesn't work. Uh, I have to buy this now though, right? Alright. Oh wait, no, is it gonna target this thing? Or is it gonna target the Ceramic? Well, it didn't get- it didn't go off in time. So I need to buy it earlier. So again, buy this around here. Get ready to stun the Cerams on this right side here. See? That's perfect. Now stun this part. And we're on- wait. Oh no, the middle leaks. Alright, that's the problem. If we stun this too long, then the red inevitably does not leak. So it's time per- oh no. I'm trying to time it such that that first ram also gets hit by the uh, um, potion turned to red. So that means I used it too late there. It's just timing. So here. Right as it's about to turn. Do not stun. Perfect. Stun this left side. Stun this right side. And... That... That didn't leak first. So if I do that... Oh my god, that stun is nothing, I just noticed. Ah, it is the left side that leaks first. How the hell do I... Do I get this to work then? Well, well let me just see what happens. If I do this... DMA goes in the middle. But I need it to go on the left side. Somehow. If I buy it when the round starts, it actually goes right. Instead of left. I don't think there's any way to really target... The left first, sadly. You guys want to hear this goofy idea? What if... I damage the Cerams with Bomb Blitz. The goal here is that maybe it regoes into slower balloons briefly, and that's enough time to stall. So, now for example, did I leak the middle this time? It was a Ceram in the middle, okay, so I have to get it with the, the first shot. How though? I have to use it later then. I didn't, I didn't reach it. By the way, the crossfighting does not affect this, just to get that out of the way. This is brutal though, if I get rid of this thing, then maybe it's more promising. I did get the Ceram in previous runs, okay. If I wait later, I get it. But this is the problem, if I wait too late... Look at the right side, I missed the Ceramic. Oh wait, no I didn't, I didn't. Ayo, it worked, it worked. Now... Easy guys, easy. 6% clear, just like that. My plan worked. I mean, there's only so many things you could do. Pretty interesting uh, stuff though. Yeah, just a lot of little things. One, obviously, knowing that the fire stuns. Two, also, making sure Bomb Blitz actually creates a rear farm. It's also because the children spawn backwards. Yes, that is true. I guess I forgot that existed. That probably helped, too. Okay, what does Overflock have to say about this challenge? It's another bug, okay? Just saw one-shotting a buffed 98 is all. And the 98 is 45 extra mob health percent. Uh, also, this is, this doesn't make sense. Why is Dota a winner, but there are zero victorious players? Maybe it just updated? Just challenge editor things, I guess. Well, uh, what be this bug you think? I have enough tiers here to get Rejuve Potion, right? Yep, one Rejuve. One star now. Second star now. And we only get ZMGs. So you're saying that two stars is supposed to beat the entire ZMG layer. What kind of bug would cause that, though? Um, I guess it's time to trial and error. So I know a ZMG probably has like 6k HP. If you add the 45% extra, then we need like an extra 10k damage on the Sarbama. Meaning we're not even close right now. Uh, what if I did a jar of pickles? I don't think this would probably affect it at all, right? Or a sharpening stone? 
Yeah, it doesn't hurt to try. One, two, nothing. Okay, let's first off just do the brute force method, aka uh, maximize damage done everywhere. So I'll jerry fire both items. I'll even do a maelstrom on these EMGs. Just get as much done to it as possible. And hell, it, even in the process, I could probably uh, nuke all the BFBs in maybe one shot. So get through the fortified the fortified mobile layer too. Let's see if I'm successful. He was not successful. Let's try to target close. I actually want damage on the FBFBs first, okay? Uh, I still don't know what to do the ace other than leave on circle. I really don't want to ace micro, by the way. Maybe I'll do some very light micro, okay, though? Maybe just reverse targeting so that's over uh, the balloons more often, if that makes any sense. And do we blast off now? Yes. Hmm. It is closer. Oh, I didn't even maelstrom, but still. Alright, and last try, brute forcing. Nope, I can't do it. Apparently the bug is that you have to rejuve twice, but I don't know uh, how I would draw my wear and error my way into getting that. I need to get an extra star off, like, somehow. Uh, I'm just gonna draw an error. I just did that really fast. Wait! I just got it. Huh. I literally just spammed the one key. Okay, I don't even know how that works. But I did get three off, as you saw. Star at the same time, okay? Now? Spam? And it worked. You saw. Three came off. I just spammed the ability. And it did that. So, the bug here is that, what, you, you can just get an extra ability off just by spamming it? Just because there was an opening? Somehow? But yeah, I just need to do a little more damage, apparently. Micro with the ZMG damage, and then we're good. Now I just do what I did earlier, aka uh, maximize damage. This time, set everything on strong. So, refreshing abilities prematurely for towers with forced cooldowns uh, makes their ability take an additional time. So, that's because of the delay, right, between... Uh, the star dropping, and then it activating. Oh, I'll just use this Maelstrom to help again. And this is not the only tower that it works with. It works with other abilities, too. Very interesting. Now, allow me to micro my star around just to get damage on the ZMG. Let's do infinite now. And I think it's time. So, quickly. Now. And that's it. Well, thank you for sharing Overclock, always with the craziest bugs. Alright, so with other towers, let's try, uh, this. So I'd use this first, and then i do this. Um, am I doing it right? Sorry, I'm still trying to figure out how this works exactly. So if I do this instantly and spam the button, it's grayed out, though. So what am I seeing? Alright, let's try this Ground Zero again. Yep, we got three off, so... It's very easy to work on Ground Zeroes. It only takes one extra time per additional refresh, so it barely is noticeable for any terrors that aren't. Ah, okay. So you're saying for the mad, it only adds one extra missile, which is why you I barely saw a difference, but it did technically work. But if it it works for the uh, refresh cooldown though, this thing apparently. So let me see. If I do this and spam it, can I actually get infinite of these off? Well, it does look like it's going faster, is it not? Look. If I use this normally, it's spread apart, but if I do this... Ah! Okay, that's how it works. I'm, I'm just using- I'm not using auto here, by the way. But if I did, hypothetically, do that, I'm just tapping really fast here. You get, basically get a hypersonic ability, that's kind of funny. Can I see it with a Maelstrom? Maelstrom? Does that look denser to you all, at, at, at all? I'm trying. I think for this, you probably can't really see it very much. Yeah, there's way too many projectiles for the Spike Storm, or the uh, mail for it to be noticeable. So, uh, realistically only viable with the Sarba slash GZ, and the Madden Sandbox. Very niche bug, but maybe useful in 1% of situations. I saw a lot of comments, people want me to play Zero Challenges, for whatever reason. Maybe because they're actually interesting. I think the difficulties are decent, I would say, so sure. X-Factor Chimps, my biggest nightmare. And this one's only a 5% win rate. What's the catch? 200k for these rounds. And that's about it, just very mini modifiers aside from that. So, no restrictions. You can use basically every single tower on the horizon. 
Now, 200k allows you, like, getting all of it at once allows you to do things that you normally don't do. So, for one, I'm gonna try something stupid. How about a temple? Oh, it's only two towers. Uh, that's alright. 402 gets me exactly the money. This is a max magic temple. Magic is the best. But there's not enough time to spawn out mini, mini sun avatars. Hold on, I can make more money. Or I can save money because I, I sacrificed something way too expensive, aka this thingy. Let's find what's exactly 50k. What is exactly 50? I think uh, Master Bomber is pretty close. Um, Yeah, I got 10k. 6k after uh, Ultra Vision? I don't know if I should have went for Middle Cross Path, actually. Well, let's start with the basics. A simple Jungle Drums Village. Is that good? Come on. Man, X-Factor is so brutal. Not even a temple can beat it, guys. Let that sink in. It's banging on the door. How much is this to remove it? Uh, it's not removable in this challenge, sadly. There's no angles, like, too. I'm trying to think of an angle where we hit both... Oh, maybe here. I don't know. And this time I'll do range. Let's just see. I need knockback. It's way worse. All right. Nah, this spot does not work. It's awful. I want to just keep trying a placement because maybe this in the back... Gives me more time to spawn out, but... <sighs> no, that, that first spot was best. Alright, no more temple. I tried. Sarvama? No, I can't afford that answer mines. But I'm thinking... Uh, switch targeting randomly? Come on. Yeah, normal. I want to split 50-50. Please. Damn, stream mines can't handle it. Uh, dumb big plane and Sarvama? I don't know. No. Sarvama? Let me just test... So yeah, it's it, the balloons under the bunker don't even get one shot, which is so sad. Guess that's probably what makes X Factor annoying. So not, not that. All right, hear me out. Carpet of spikes and anti bloom. I can afford all this, right? Yes, sir. This combo looks great because spikes give us a lot of leverage, a lot of leeway. Cross my anti balloons in the wrong spot. It also, it's also instant. I bet the ability doesn't work under the bunker too, right? Yeah, X-Factor is such an ass. That's not bad. I'll put my, uh, uh, Anai over here. And let's go again. Instant carpet. Remember, you have to- You don't buy this immediately so that the carpet comes out immediately. That makes any sense. Uh, now. And stall. Stall for Spike Storm. So close. I think this works. This is living proof that this map is complete garbage. <laughs> that is all. And now. That was good. I lied. Come on, get good, get good, get good. Now? Spike Storm, Spike Storm, Spike Storm. Closest run so far. Alright, don't suck, don't suck, don't suck. Now. Hmm. Do I give up? On this solution, at least? Dumb big plane plus carpet. Maybe. Just maybe. This is better than anti? Yes, it is, guys. We survived longer, at least, but... <laughs> we still died. Round 101 are free, guys. I just need to beat this round, and I think I'm good. I don't want a micro, so that's why I'm being lazy. Alright. Flying Fortress up top early. And then change it back to uh, some stupid shit now. I know. This is not going to work, but you have to try. MAD. Final by Laser Shock. This. But I don't think it's worth relying on um, the spikes for SRAMs. Nah. This beats DTs easily, though. I think this leaves me too weak to the, uh, well, the lane the carpet's in, but... Um, at least we're getting some- wait, I don't think it- no, it doesn't damage. I lied. Sorry. This is bad. <laughs> I thought it would, like, do maybe damage, but remember the bunker is- like, the balloons are completely immune under the bunker, no matter what. Spear of the Force is affordable, but it's too slow. Shame. Shame. I, I generally think it's Ace Micro, or some sort of Ace Micro would help. Help me survive, so I need straight straight lines. Am I getting that? Come on. <sighs> Alright, let's try a Tech Tier in this really weird spot. Not weird, but like, far. Yes! No. But that's the best run so far. So basically what I did, is because this thing basically blocks everything. There's no point putting this here, because it won't really do anything here. So just like, cover most of this side as possible. If you know what I mean. Please, 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 please. Now. 
And activate. Looks like it's trying to do the same thing every single time. Let me just see where I'm using this thing. Oh, there we go. Probably not, but please. Nice. We finally freaking did it. We beat one round out of three. Now, tell me why I... Oh, I probably die here because the Tector is in the wrong spot. Wait, I use this before it exits. Nice, BFBs. Carpet, please don't fail me, please don't fail me. Come on. No, I, I'm dead. Okay. How about we swap the sides? Here. And here. I knew this would work. I just wasn't diligent enough the first time I tried it. Uh, the, I had to use a two- I think this is bad, no. The amount of DDs that come out of this spot are just way worse, but I think it's still doable. So I use, uh, wait, here? Here. Like that. Please, please, please. Hmm, it's close. There? How was that? This spot's hard to make work. I've concluded this spot is the best spot. Yeah, it ain't even close, so... Uh, let me just try changing timings, because it's so close. Now... Oh, yep, this is it, this is it. So, what I'm gonna do here... Don't use Spike Storm. My first Spike Storm until I guess now. My na my natural one. Or would I use it now? Yeah, I have to use it before it, obviously. Uh, I need a damage, um, like, the bad enough so that when I use this ability... It eats everything inside, and I just beat 100, like, now. There we go. That's how you do it, I think we win. Round 101 is easy, right? Please be easy, please be easy, please be easy, please be easy. Yay, we did it, I told you. Beat round one, and uh, the other two are easy. Okay, that was, that was freaking annoying. Not because of the challenge, but because of X-Factor.